Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell XPS 15 9575. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. So you have these three screws towards the left of my screen, these three screws toward the right of my screen, and these two screws down near the middle. After removing those, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool and go along the seam of the bottom case and gently pry it up from the rest of the computer. I say plastic pry tool because that'll scratch your computer a lot less than a metal one will. Also, try not to get it too far into the computer. You could damage internal components. Just keep it on the edge, nice and firm but slow. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it, go to the other side, start there, and go in the other direction. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, while you're taking your bottom case off, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with any tools or supplies for your project, there will be a link below in the description. It'll have a list of all the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also, there'll be another link there that will be a list to all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer. Now before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to either remove or at least unplug your battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. The way you get the battery out, you have to undo all these screws here. All the arrows are pointing to all the screws you need to undo on the battery. Uh, in order to unplug the battery, it's plugged in under this piece right here. So you would have to take these two screws out, bend this back a little bit, and then you can unplug your battery. As with any wires in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the wires. Sometimes you can damage them or you can pull them right out of the plug. So try to use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that plug out of that port. If you have to apply some pressure to the cables, just be careful when you do it but that's how you would unplug your battery. And as another side note, if you're doing any other operation in the computer and you're unplugging your battery first, you can also just use this switch. This computer model has a cool little switch right here where you slide that up, that disconnects the battery from the motherboard, making it safer to operate on. So after unplugging or removing your battery, we can proceed deeper into the computer. Uh, after taking out these two screws, you also want to take out these two screws on the left. You want to release this ribbon cable here. You want to take this off. This section in the middle is held down by double-sided tape, so you may need to peel it up. Be careful, don't just rip it, uh, but you can just slowly peel that up. Again, it's only double-sided tape. So once you have this component off, this is what you're looking at here. This is your CMOS battery. So it sticks down here with double-sided tape. If you need to replace this, you can easily pop that up. Get a small flat pry tool, uh, put it underneath there, and you can pop that up relatively easily. Again, it's just double-sided tape. I will try to have a replacement CMOS battery like this below in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer if you're looking to replace it. If you're just here to reset BIOS using this operation, you don't need to physically remove the battery. You can leave it there you would just need to unplug it from the motherboard for maybe 15, 20 seconds. And as mentioned before, try not to pull on wires, but use your fingernails or a pry tool to pull that plug out of that port right there. 15, 20 seconds should be sufficient to reset BIOS. It is good to note that in most cases, this will only reset your BIOS system settings. This will not reset your BIOS password if that's why you're here. I'll have more information about that below in the description in the FAQs. And I guess the last thing I can shout out about this kind of operation, resetting BIOS in this manner is a common troubleshooting step if your computer's not turning on. If that's why you're here, I will have a video link below in the description I'll also have it as the end video once this one stops playing. 
it'll be a tutorial showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on because that is a good troubleshooting step, but there are many others that can help you figure out why your computer is not turning on. But this is the video. This is how you open your computer, access your CMOS battery in a Dell 15 9575. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.